everybody, welcome to Kimmel's Irish Pub. Time for another movie review. Tonight's movie, Destination Wedding. Right? <laughs> I know, I'm running out of stuff again. It happens all the time, but this has Keanu Reeves and Winona Ryder in it. I mean, back in the 80s, late 90s, or early 90s, wow! But I mean, Keanu Reeves, I like the guy. I tell you what, when I first saw him in Point Break, he said something like, and let's go get these guys. I thought, this guy is the worst actor in the world. If you've ever seen Point Break, you'll know what part I'm talking about. I forget what he says, but he's, and let's go get these guys. I was like, what a terrible actor. Then Bill and Ted's, and I was like, oh, <laughs> guy's got a funny side. And then, after that, he's just been incredible. And everything I think I've seen him in. Uh, John Wick, of course, the guy's incredible. And then you come to find out, if you don't know about Keanu Reeves, read about him. The most humble actor ever rides a subway things like that just a great all-around guy um so anyway he's in this movie not everything he touches turns to gold but it's a i'll i'll respect him for what he the kind of person he is and i'll watch his mo movies winona ryder writer she likes to put things in her pockets that's you know in the past she's been in a lot of good stuff heathers she was um stranger things she's great in that making a little comeback here so this movie is about two people who are very miserable we're going to a wedding, which is a destination wedding, obviously. And I think they meet each other at this wedding, and they're, uh, as I had mentioned, miserable in a sense. Yeah, but they start to become attracted to each other, and um, everything that ensues after that. So we'll see. IMDb, 6.1. Yeah, low expectations. But who knows? We've got nothing else to watch. Obviously, you're interested to see if it's any good, because you clicked on this, and you've watched me so far. So stick around. I'll try and be brief. My, my dad told me I had to be. All right, <laughs> I'll be back. Thanks for tuning in. Hey, everybody. We're at the credits of Destination Wedding. Sorry, no check-ins, because they definitely weren't needed. And the movie's only an hour and 26 minutes long. Um, and uh, not my kind of movie. Completely dialogue-driven movie. The uh, Keanu Reeves and Rhea, Winona Ryder are the only two. I mean, there's other background actors in it, because they're going to a wedding. They're the only two with speaking lines in the entire movie. Um, and it's just about their interactions, how, you know, um, miserable they are. And then, so they go to this wedding together, they're miserable going there, they're miserable to each other, then they start, you know, mocking the wedding, and but they have fun kind of doing that together and mocking all the people that are there, which creates a bond between the two of them. And, um, but still, they're very miserable people, even when they're bonding together and, and building a relationship or not building a relationship, whatever, they're both against love, all that kind of stuff. Um, sorry, as you can tell, I'm a little, something wrong with my throat, because there was one real funny part. I happened to be taking a drink at the time, it was caught right there, and it was during the scene where they're actually, um, having sex. And, of course, when they're having it, it's not very intimate. It's more conversation between the two of them as they're, when they're going through the motions. And they were just saying, I don't want to ruin it for you, just in case the off chance that you're going to watch this movie. Watch that. When that scene starts to happen, keep your drinks out of your mouth. Maybe it'll strike you as funny as it did me. I had a pause in the movie. I thought I was going to... I thought I was going to throw up. It caught me right there, like when you're going to spit it out, but halfway down your throat, oh... It was a terrible, terrible experience. My eyes are still watery from that, but it was a funny part. Um, at least it struck me funny. But other than that, it wasn't wasn't great. It's not like I said, not my kind of movie. Um, obviously, really no action, just all dialogue between them, and you know, very. I don't know if you say lyrical. I don't know. I don't have the vocabulary that they do, and they they had you know large words in there and very heady. You know, that kind of stuff, I think. Very intellectual. Um, so, you know, well-written, I guess. And well-acted between the two of them. But uh, just really boring um, for me. Maybe not for everybody. Not. It was boring for me. It's hard to stay awake. But when I almost choked to death, um, you know, it kind of woke me up a little bit after I got done cleaning myself up. So... Uh, if this is the type of your movie you're into, if you're very intellectual, you like big words, um, you know, and, and um, very dialogue-driven movies and back and forth and people who are miserable, this could be a good one for you. I like 
Keanu. I like Winona Ryder, and I thought they did fine. Not for me. I'm probably going to give it a four or a five just because I laughed, and, and that was the only it. And it was only an hour and 26 minutes, so. Uh, sorry. If you've seen it, let me know. If you, if I, hopefully I talked you out of it if you haven't seen it. Whatever. Do whatever you want. Leave me comments. That would be great. I'm going to stop wasting your time because I just wasted enough of mine. So, thanks for tuning in. Kibble's Irish Pub.